Hello, welcome to the first video of this playlist. In this very first video, we'll take a closer look on how we can run a solar radiation analysis by using Grasshopper and Ladybug. And if you remember from my previous videos, we already covered the topic of solar radiation map with its specific name that is coming from Climate Studio. But today, in this very video, we'll take a closer look how we can do it by using a Ladybug. So, if you remember again our previous videos on Ladybug, what we do is we go and grab a UV map component because it's basically creating uh, like a link between Grasshopper and uh, the map that we can download EPV files. And EPV files are quite crucial for us to run the analysis because we are locating our project. So why don't we why don't we do somewhere I don't know like maybe Athens do you see Athens I can't see it so maybe I just have Athens Athens Greece this is the probably the airport copy it Or not I don't know so we go back to press super screen and then we download the PV weather file and what I do is I create a panel and put the weather file into that panel so and right after this one what I'll do is I'll just, just make it false because I don't need it anymore and I will already have my so if we Take a closer look on how we run this ladybug incident radiation. It's basically the radiation, it's calculating the energy that we are getting from the sun, right? Within a given time frame. So, as you see, it asks for a geometry. Why don't we come up with a simple geometry? Let's create a surface starting from 0.0, 100 meters or 200 meters 200 meters and that's going to be our uh let's say area to run the analysis let's draw a couple of massings here and maybe let's have sort of a scale this scale this in 2d and we copy this okay we put this guy take this guy and i don't know like create sort of a create sort of a atrium so if i create a bigger difference just want to, I want you to show how the shades and shadows are moving all over. So, the first thing that we are going to put the geometry. So, the geometry needs to be a B wrap, as, as you remember, or a mesh from our previous video. So, let's say we are going to run the analysis on this part and we are going to run the app, use these B wraps as my context geometry. And then it's going to be asking me the grid size. So grid size can be one. And offset distance can be 0 0.1. And it's asking for irradiance, like Boolean to not whether the study should output units of cumulative radiation. False, like is it going to be a kilowatt hour per square meter or what? per square meter so we can talk about that as well as on parameters we already know this cpu count and run so i'll be putting that toggle ladybug or uh, the false toggle this is good because whenever we turn this crossover definition off it's going this uh boolean will go off as well 
But the very first thing that it's asking us is the sky matrix, what is it? So if I come over to this part here, cumulative sky matrix, it's basically the information that the analysis needs to run the uh, calculation. So it's basically asking for north. North can be like this location that we have here. If I can move them so that I can show you north is this direction, it can stay as it is. So if I uh, import ETV, I can grab the location file from this part. And then I can um, break normal radiation, diffuse normal, oh sorry, diffuse normal radiation, voice, high density, crown, and you know all the rest of the things. So I'll be grabbing and analysis period so the analysis period for now it's going to be running for the, running for the entire year which is fine let's run this for an entire year first okay and this is going to be our sky matrix and let me preview this off and let's run this so when you click on this a toggle it's basically activating the analysis or the simulation again depending on the time or depending on your computer it may take longer than this or shorter than this but it's showing me now the content here so what I can do here is maybe make everything wireframe so that we see things in a good way and when we do the wireframe, maybe we don't need to see any surface ice okay. Right? So what this is basically talking about, and of course we can change this all, but I'll be talking about that in the upcoming video. It's basically ranging from blue to white, zero to 1, 1,629. And it's basically how much energy when the sun vector is hitting on this surface so why this is a bit different than the why this is a bit different than the climate studio because this can give us real-time feedback what do i mean so for instance if i come over here and push this or not all of them but push these two points and we are going to see a bit more blue areas all over the place. Right, and also it affects the maximum height of this. Or what we can do is we can say, okay, do the same thing, but this time I just want to increase this, the location of these points or these masses. Of course, it's depending on the year, like this is now running for the entire year. The analysis that we usually want to run is on specific dates. And you see in total radiation, it goes down and down. And down. So, well, this is uh, basically pretty much it for the very first video of this analysis, Ladybug analysis. And you can see the, uh, we can see the legend here and in the next video we'll run this analysis for the buildings and then we'll create some visuals based on those as well so i'll see you in the next one